Hello everyone, today we're doing another tea review. This one I'm so, so excited for. <laughs> um, we are trying the Harney and Sons Gingerbread Festival. Um, it says black tea with ginger, cinnamon, and molasses. I am so excited for fall, guys. Like, I literally cannot contain how excited I am. So, this tea, it better be good. <laughs> Um, there's only 20 sachets, which I'm kind of sad about, so I might have to repurchase this. This is good. But, this one has, it's a little bit hard to read because of my lighting situation here. But I was trying to make it cozy in the fall and all that. Um, but this one has, it says, character. Like traditional gingerbread houses, the flavors of cinnamon, ginger, and molasses swirl together in a sweet and spicy blend. Um, ingredients. Black tea, ginger, cinnamon, molasses flavor. That's sad. They could have done regular molasses. It's not that hard. Um, vanilla flavor, cloves, and that is it. So, you infuse for five minutes. So, let's get this brewing. I'm going to do two sachets, but I'm not going to. Um, ooh, that's a bit hard to get out. Oh my goodness literally smells like ginger snaps. It smells so amazing. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm going to be opening the sachets, put them in there, and use two for my teapot, because that's what it typically needs. Make little scissors. Oh, it smells so yummy. I'm going to put this on a plate so I can show you guys first. So, it just looks like a black tea with a fair amount of ginger pieces on here. It looks really nice. Smells so good. So it smells amazing. I'm gonna put it in the teapot. Oh, it just smells amazing. Are you one of those people that always make sure you put your lid, puts your tea canister lid on the exact way it should be? I just have to do that because it seems wrong not to. Anyway, let's put in our hot water, if we uh, can do it. This is an awkward way to pour, just a second. Also, I have these cups that just, well, a cup, I have a set of these cups, so I'm only using one, that just matches perfectly. It's a brown, the gold rim, white on the inside. I thought, thought it ma matched the theme and the canister really well. Trying to pour something above me is kind of hard. Maybe I'm just weak. Maybe it's both. <laughs> it's a very pretty color. This teapot takes a little while to fill. Alright, that is full enough now. And we'll let that steep. And while it does, we'll talk about some of the characteristics of this tea. So, now yeah, we gotta wait for a train. So, my Carney's ratings for this tea is briskness is a level of two, body he gave a level of three, and aroma four. I would definitely say aroma's at a 4.5. It is so strong, it smells really good. Um, Obviously, I don't know about briskness. I thought it until we try it, but it's almost done brewing. Tea is a really pretty, like, amber brown color. It's very pretty. It's been five minutes now, so we can pour some. We'll just do a little bit at first, and then we can try it a few times as it brews. Smells really good. Now that it's been poured, you smell more um, cinnamon and molasses. 
the, and the ginger is coming out more too. Before it just smelled like a ginger snap, but now the individual um, flavors, now the individual smells are coming out. Smells, flavors, I don't really know what you'd call it in this case. The smells of the flavorings. I don't know. It smells really good though. Let's try some. It's kind of sweet. That's nice. It's kind of like a. The molasses makes it have a bit more of a earthier, not, yeah, I guess earthier um, flavor. It's like sweet and cinnamon, but it has a deeper body to it because of the molasses. This is still very hot though. It's kind of hard to try. Yeah, it tastes a lot like gingerbread. Um. It doesn't have quite as much body as I would have expected, but the rating wasn't that high on body anyway. It's kind of in the middle there, um, so I guess I would agree with that. But it, it tastes a lot like ginger snaps or gingerbread. Um, it has molasses and ginger and cinnamon, but none of those are overpowering. They're kind of all blended together to make, like I said, like the name implies, gingerbread or ginger snap like flavor. I don't think I changed anything about this. Um, I was a little bit surprised that the flavors weren't quite as strong, but they're like, it's not, but they're not too weak. So I wouldn't necessarily, necessarily even change that. And I think as it brews, more flavor will come out as well. And for my ratings, um, I would do the briskness um, about the same I guess as theirs they gave it a rating of two the body they gave a three which I think I agree on that as well the aroma four and like I said I already I would kind of I would do either four or four point five because it does have pretty strong aroma all right I'm gonna try some now that it has brewed a little bit longer. This is a really nice tea. I wasn't sure if it would, I was pretty sure it'd be one of those that you don't want to add anything to, but I was wondering if maybe you'd add something or not. The flavors are just getting deeper as it steeps, which is really nice. I think I would initially brew it a little bit longer than the five minutes, um, just to start up, start out with a little bit of a stronger cup. But I really like this, and I'm definitely going to be drinking this a lot this fall and winter, uh, because fall is just around the corner, and I'm so excited. Um, I kind of already consider it fall as soon as September starts, even though our weather won't be fall weather then. I still consider it fall, and be having all the fall treats and drinks and decorating for fall. So, this is going to be the perfect addition in my fall tea collection um and yeah I would highly recommend this tea it is so good and I don't think anyone would really dislike this unless they didn't like tea or maybe if they didn't like cinnamon but I don't even feel like the cinnamon's too strong that someone wouldn't like it so yeah I'm just happy that I have really nice tea and that is all there's not really much to say on this one it, it tastes like it says um gingerbread festival the gingerbread ginger snap is probably to me smells more like the ginger snaps like the i think it's the Mydell brand of ginger snaps to me that's what this smells like um it doesn't smell quite as sweet but it smells almost exactly like those ginger snaps and i would be eating some of those ginger snaps with this tea because i think that'd be tasty um yeah that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye!